692-692 for real-time updates or visit nyc.gov slash coronavirus. I am Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans and Rocket Mortgage. Sorry guys for the noise, times, but hopefully this will be over soon. With the best mortgage experience for <coughs> We understand that hardships may arise and we're prepared to help. Mortgage rates remain near historic lows. If you think that now is the right time to refinance your mortgage, our home loan experts are available to help 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at rocketmortgage.com. Good morning, Carol Sale, Tim and Kathy. Good morning, everybody. So I'm trying a new camera angle so you can let me know how you feel about it. Um, this morning, we're getting very, very low on food, so I have put together kind of a trash bin of vegetables, and I'm going to make a pasta primavera. I am not going to the grocery store until Monday morning because I learned my lesson last Sunday or two Sundays ago, whenever that was, and that's not going to happen. So, out of my vegetable bin, I had a couple of carrots, some uh, scallions, and some celery. I think celery gets really underserved because I love like Chinese food stir fry that has a lot of celery in it. So we're going to do that. And let's see what I've got. Pasta. I have this little bag of orchietti that we pulled out a couple of weeks ago. So we'll use that. Let's see. Let's put some oil in this pan. You know, give it a couple of good turns. And we'll let that come to heat. Let's see who else is here this morning. Hello, Paul. Paul, I have a little vodka, cranberry, and, and soda water. I'm going very light this morning because I'm going to give blood, platelets, and plasma at 245. They say that, you know, we don't have a lot of stuff. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like this angle. That's good. That's wonderful. Now I've got something to work with. And mm, So, yes, I'm going light just a little. I'm calling this breakfast. Good morning, Ed. Um, and then I'm going to call this lunch. And then, like I said, we're going to go give our, they're going to basically take all the fluids out of my body, take everything that's valuable and put it back inside me. So one thing I have done today is I've taken one of my little pieces of uh, uh, Parmesan rind out of the fridge. So that's going to go in there. And I'm going to start here first with the celery, because that's going to be the one that needs to cook the most. I've got the heat on under my water, so it's coming up also. So I think that probably most of this will come together in about you know, 10 minutes, maybe. It's all a matter of how long it takes my uh, water to come up to a boil. Now I am going to turn this down a little bit. I don't want that to cook too fast. Is the Chopin too loud? Maybe I'll turn it down and not. That seems better. Hello, everyone. So, we've got that going in here. I'm gonna get these last couple little pieces of renegade um, celery going. And I'm gonna give this a little turn, a little bit. I've got a little, oops, I put my cheese down face, uh, cheesy side instead of rind side, so now I have a little stuck on cheese here. Mmm, muy delicioso. Get that off so it doesn't burn onto the bottom of my pan. I love my pan. Okay, that hopefully will come off. I don't know, you guys. I don't think it's ever coming off. Maybe we'll just be having a little parmesan and everything from now on. Now I'm going to toss some carrots in here. And here we go. Maybe that'll loosen up that cheese. I'm going to take a little bit of ooh, salt. We need to re-salt. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in here, maybe, I don't know, teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, and a couple cranks of pepper. Good. And then, you know what I don't have in here is any garlic. There we go. Garlic makes everything better. Hello, Kenny Phoenix. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Andrew. Um, let's see. Music has come has come down. That's good. I'm glad you like. Hello, Dwayne. Dwayne Green has the uh, um, honor, I guess, of having been in the car when I had, I believe, my only real wreck in my life. So there we go. Excellent. 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 Garlic coming apart. 
And, you know, my favorite part of the day, get a microplane. Oops, wrong side. The water looks like it's starting to bubble up in the water pan over here. Going, 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 going. There we go. And boom, boom, boom. Excellent. Who else is here? Thank you. I'm glad everybody likes the camera position. This is making my life easier. So we're going to stick these onions in here. And once we get everything with flavor going on in here, then, you know, I had those peas that I thought I was going to make pea soup for Easter, and then I didn't because, you know, the whole fiasco with the drain going tips up. And so I have those still in the fridge, and I'm going to throw a cup of those in here and give that a little mix up, get a little juicy and Greasy going on all of this. And then I'm going to give this a little bit of my delicious veg stock. Now that can cook for a little while. Um, I have a here from, you know, I've been growing some basil. So I did a little chiffonade basil, which I thought would be really good to top that off. I also have my celery tops. So I'm going to give those just a little run through for a little something to dress up the top of this bowl of pasta that we're going to make. There we go, something flowery and pretty to dress it up. Perfect. So that's my topping for this. And with this, you can do any kinds of things. I mean, you might want to toast up some nuts if you've got them. Walnuts would be great on this. And, um, uh, yeah, any kind of nut. I've got some Parmesan, Asiago, and Romano in here. I've got some little, I've got a few little mozzarella bowls. I love these little babies. I thought they might be great to toss around in there and just kind of loosen up. So, um, yeah, I think that'll be a great, terrific, light little, little dinner. If you wanted to, you know, this, this uh, vegetable thing that we've got going here, this could be either soupy or if you wanted to go in here, you know, this, that's why I put the piece of um, Parmesan in here. That will sort of help to thicken this sauce up as this cooks. And you might want to really actually take a little, make a little slurry and maybe, maybe uh, stiffen that sauce up so that it'll stick a little more. Um, but these are coming up. And I think that actually once you get a little cheese in there, it'll start to, um, to loosen up. Now, I've never used any nut cheeses. Um, I told you, you know, I've been trying to be vegetarian for the last few days or weeks or something. I have eaten a little meat here and there. Honey sent me barbecue the other day, so what are you going to do? You're not going to not eat the barbecue. Um, so I don't know about nut cheeses, but I kind of feel like that anything that is overly processed is not for me. Let's see. Paul, thank you for coming to visit us. And, uh, and it's so happy to have you here all the way from Switzerland. And hello, Cindy, and hello, Kevin. And let's see. Yeah, so I'm going to give, they've been, I, I made the appointment to give blood about two weeks ago. And I kept going back every few days and thinking, oh, should I make it, should I make it? And then finally I made it for today. And I said, you know, if it's not, if we've not hit the apex yet, then I can always reschedule it. But we have been holding and not growing our number of dead or infected here in New York. And they keep saying that the blood centers around the country are the cleanest places in the world to be. And uh, Kathy, my parents don't watch me live every day, but they've been getting my YouTube numbers up. So I appreciate that. If anybody wants to go and just like let it play all night on YouTube, that'd be great. <laughs> um, so my mom said that my, uh, my whole thing about about feminism she said i can't wait to make your daddy daddy watch it she said you managed to make our family look real fancy <laughs> so i thought that was really nice but you know i think the ron earsons were uh, really some extraordinary people lots of y'all may have known my granddaddy Gip, who was the mayor of houstonville for i don't know 70 80 years something like that however long he lived um and so these are cooking up real nice 
My water still needs to come up to a full boil, so I'm going to close the top of it to get it a little bit, uh, to let the heat come up faster. And we're just going to have a little, little, little cup of pasta out here so we know how much we've got ready to roll. Oops, renegade peas. Let's get those back in here. Man, oh, it's smelling good, guys. A cup of pasta, that seems about right. Fantastic. So, right, I don't know what else really to do here this morning, guys. Um, and what I will say, though, is tomorrow we'll do breakfast. But on Sunday, I'm making pizza. So we won't be back here. I haven't decided yet. I've kind of got to think about it overnight. I don't know if I'm going to want to do pizza at, let's say, 4 o'clock to prepare it for later in the evening. So I'll either do it either right before Daddy Andy or right after Daddy Andy. So, like, let's call it either 4 or 6, but I'll let you know tomorrow for sure. And um, that water is coming up faster. Let's get a little salt ready to go. Now that's awesome. Get a saltiness. And you know, salty water is really good for pasta. Makes it more flavorful. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Sorry about the advertisements, but there you go. Hello, Brian and Kathy. Have I missed anybody else to say hello to? Excellent, guys. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for coming, for getting up, getting dressed, and coming to visit me in my little kitchen. So, is this going yet? Yep, that is a rolling boil, and let's give these babies a dunk. Close them up. Oops. This is something that I, like a crazy person, I'm very anti-Coke brothers. I think that they're, that they are largely bad people who are trying to ruin the world. So whenever I I never buy anything from them, no no Georgia Pacific paper products, no Solo products. But when somebody brings them to me, I wash them and I use them over and over and over again just to piss them off. So because they don't want you to use them over again, they want you to throw them away and fill the landfill so that they can create more stuff out of oil. So I use it until it falls apart. It's just out of spite, man. So let's see. Oops. Let's see. Give this a little twirl to make sure we're not losing anything, and that's going to be hot. So I'm going to get that attack that way. So guys, everything's cooking right up, right? <laughs> My dad was a lot of people's insurance guy. I hope you maybe you go. Oh, I guess you're not in Kentucky anymore, so I can't judge you by that. But Sean Slusher it took over my dad's insurance business. So Sean's a great guy too, if you have the opportunity to throw a little business his way. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see how this is looking. This is looking great and it's getting a little sticky down in there from the uh, cheese coming up. And I really might take a tiny bit of a slurry just to thicken up the sauce a little bit if you want that to be, especially if you're making it for all. There's something like this for a lot of people. And I am going to give a little lemon because nothing says fresh like acidity, right? So a little acidity here. And while I've still got my microplane out, I'm just going to take this and put a little bit of this zest here so that that will just get in with all of this other stuff as we put it into the bowl. A little lemon zest never hurt anybody, I don't think. Go. And I have no idea how long the pasta's in, so I'm just gonna stand around here and pretend like I don't know. So, guys, yes, vodka, thank you. Vodka, cranberry, and a little bit. I figure I should probably go light before I go and give my blood. They don't want all the alcohol in my blood today. So, um, guys, what have we got going here? We've got pasta, we've got a little primavera sauce. We're gonna top it off with a little chiffonade of fresh basil of the tops of my celery, a little lemon zest, a little uh, sliced mozzarella, and a little parmy. And I think that's going to be really fantastic. Although this is not even a 15 minute meal. This is a, a, not even a, a, a 30 minute meal. This is barely a 15 minute meal. Of course, I did do a little chopping before you got here. Um, so let me see how my little pasta ears are coming along. Yep, they're still firm, so they need another couple of minutes. And so guys, what is everybody gonna do? I'm gonna do my thing. 
Kelly, let's get you a new microplane ordered because there's nothing better than a good sharp microplane. So I have been, this is I think day, March the 6th was, March the morning, March the 7th was the last time I saw people. So I've been, I did come back uh, from New Jersey on the 9th, 8th or 9th. So I've been alone basically since then. I am getting a little bit like I'd like to peel the skin off my face. I would love to throw a party more than you can imagine, but I am very happy that today I'm going to do something nice for somebody else. I'm going to go give, like I said, blood, plasma, and platelets. They're going to take out all the valuable stuff out of my body and put the crap back in, I guess. So I'm going to do that today, which will make me feel like I'm doing something proactive. I've been looking online, trying to find if there's some way that I could volunteer or deliver meals to old, the elderly or something. But I have experienced ageism for the first time in my life. And because I am over a magical number that ends in a zero, um, I cannot volunteer in person, which is a little infuriating. Um, but I tried. Does that count? So there's that. Let me see. How's my pasta coming? I'm looking forward to this. I never eat pasta. Nope. Still firm. We'll keep it going. We are just biding our time, guys, until we get here, until we get to the end. So, Kelly, you absolutely can come to my party because if you will recall, 10 years ago today, you were here um, and... I was going to have a derby party and you should have been here. You would have been here for that. So you come. We're ready for you whenever you want to get here. Uh, vegetables. I had a little celery. I had some scallions. I had some carrots and peas. So that's what I've got in my pot here with just a little bit of stock and a rind of Parmesan. I've got some orchietti in here cooking. And like I said, a chiffonade of celery tops, basil, a little bit of mozzarella plus a little parmesan romano asiago all together ready to pop together on this when it's ready to go and a video cocktail easter yay that sounds fantastic that's a lot of levers right levers from coast to coast um let's see i just oh i did think of something that if you do want it to be creamy you could always maybe put a touch of cream uh, maybe a little bit of yogurt, or if you had some cream cheese, maybe a little bit of that in your sauce would kind of cream it up a little bit. If that was, if that's something that you would like to make it a little stickier for your pasta. Um, but like I said, here today and in here in privation cooking, we are just using what we have and being happy about it, making the most of it. And that's all I know. But I am going to eat something today very often. Hello, Stephanie. Um, I am going to eat lunch, which I usually don't do. Usually after we finish this, I go and sit down, read the newspaper for a few more minutes, teach my, my niece and nephew their little uh, culture class that I do for them. And then about 3 or 4 o'clock, I'm just rapacious. I can't get possibly get enough to eat. And so I sit down and I eat like this, a giant bowl of food, like your biggest dog at about four or five o'clock. And then I don't eat again until about four or five o'clock the next day. If I could push this another four hours, I think each day I could probably be doing what they call that intermittent fasting, but who has the, who has the time for that? Now, how's my pasta con? Guys sure do seem to want to keep holding on to their firmness. Let's just pull it out to be sure. Yeah, those are still a little too firm. Too firm. Let me just taste it after I can get it in my mouth. Oh yeah, I know that's paste. We still need a few minutes part. Sorry for that. Your veins are too small. Oh wow. You know, my dad is that guy who gives platelets I think every two weeks because he makes too many of them so I figure that I probably should have been doing this all along because I'm probably the same so but I just to be a little on my own thing I kind of feel like that when I go to give blood they very well might test my blood and I might find out if I've been exposed to COVID or not now I don't mean to say that I'm doing this to be the hope that I get my piece out of it but it sure would be nice to know if that two-week 
full brain headache I had was COVID, right? Um, I know a lot of people who think that they've been exposed and been one of those uh, people who are largely asymptomatic. And so I look forward to that. <laughs> See, tearing everything in half, right? You wanna, you wanna wait, wait things. They won't take your blood anymore. Have you just been through too much, my love? You know what, you've given enough to all of us. So you keep your blood. I'll give blood for everybody. Mm -mm -mm. All right, how's my veg looking down here? That has started to kind of cook down a little bit, but that looks great. Those are gonna be beautiful on here. I do have a little bit more uh, water, so I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna put the rest of this in here. And like I said, I think I am gonna do a little bit of a slurry here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take a little blob of, maybe a teaspoon of butter and put that down there in the middle there. And then, look, I have organic, we call this stuff cornstarch, organic cornstarch. So I am going to, TB as a child, sale, see that's what you get for growing up in the South. We got um, exposed to all kinds of things. I was at the eye doctor a couple of years ago, a new, a new doctor I'd never been to. And as he's looking through the thing, he says, so tell me about your childhood growing up in the Ohio River Valley. And I said, what, 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 did I tell you where I grew up? He said, no, I can tell by looking at your eyes. And I said, okay, this is the craziest thing I've ever heard. What do you mean you can tell where I grew up by looking in my eyes? He says, because you clearly have undiagnosed histoplasmosis on the backs of your eyes. And it's always people from the Ohio River Valley who have that because it went completely undiagnosed. So I come home and I tell my parents and my dad said, well, that makes perfect sense because the barn next to the house where we lived until you were almost three had about 250 chickens inside of it. So there you go. Things, things you learn, right? The things that we learn. So I'm gonna take a little bit of cornstarch on my fork here. I'm going to put it right into this water and mix it up. There we go. And then I'm going to put this right down in there. Boom. Done. That will thicken up nicely. And, oh, I now see I'm forgetting all about my, pardon me, forgetting all about my pasta, which is probably now completely overdone. And I won't have to chew as much. That seems good. Save my tea. How's that looking? It's starting to look like pasta, but I'm not sure. Let's see. This little guy just really doesn't want to cook food, does it? Uh-uh. Not even close. Yeah. Not even taste yet. Oh, there we go. So, guys, all we're doing is sitting here and counting the moments until my pasta is done. My little, these little guys look fantastic in here, so I'm going to take, I need this, here we go. I'm going to take these guys and let them go in here because that lemon will be, lemon oil will be good to move around in there. I'm going to let my uh, mozzarella loosen up a little bit, and then I'm going to be ready to put that right on top when we're done. But that, you guys, this is going to be fantastic, I think. So simple, so light. Um, I'm going to put, I have a little bit over here, hidden behind a little thyme that has air dried. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this because thyme is, is so much about spring to me, right? I'll just get that a little bit of yum yum right over here. Mm, ouch. Fingers not made of steel. Just get a little bit of that in there. Oh, now, it even, now it's smelling even better. Excellent. Now, that is going to be phenomenal, you guys. So I think I'm just going to turn this off, cover this up, and now we're just waiting for the pasta to cook. So as soon as that's done, I'm, I'll dump most of the water out of the pasta, dump it all into with the veg, give it a toss, give it a ladle out. Hello, Beth. How are you? Um, hello, Angie. Hello, Carrie and Becky and Bobby and Wowza. You guys, you are so wonderful. Thank you all for coming here today. So I'm going to say to you what I want to say to you every day, which is take care of yourself, 
Take care of your hearts, take care of your minds, take care of your bodies. Get out, get in the sun, get some vitamin D in your skin and in the rods and cones of your eyes will help you to not be so crazy and sad. If you can't get out in the sun, then go to your cupboard and find some vitamin D and take a couple of those. Vitamin D and sunshine are gonna be our friends. Um, um, a young friend of mine who's just out of college called me yesterday and said, I'm asking people that I respect and feel like are smart and well-read, what do you think the story is here? How do you think that we're, do you think we'll still be here? How long do you think we'll be here? And I said, this was two days ago. I said, I'm prepared to be here until May the 31st. That is the earliest that I see us being allowed to relieve, you know, have any relaxing of social distancing. And then of course, yesterday we were extended to May 15th. Um, I was on the phone this morning with my friend Alex, and he, those of you who know Alex, Alex is my bestie from college, and we literally are the same person with different genitals, politically speaking. So we were talking about things this morning, and um, I don't see any relaxing of social distancing until we have either widespread testing or widespread um, a, a vaccine. There's just, so I told this young girlfriend, young female friend of mine that I think that you need to be prepared to not have any group activities, and I mean concerts, ball games, anything like that, until there is wide, a widespread, widely available vaccine. So keep your brains together, boys and girls. That is so important. So and Beth, it's my pleasure. Thank you for coming and listening to me. Hello, Denise. We take you anytime you come. Let's see if I've got pasta done yet or if this is just gonna be the slowest cooking eater of the, in my lifetime. Oh, hang on, they might be about there. Let's see. I swear, still no. Oh, well, y'all, we, we, might, we might be here till hell freezes over. But you guys, that's all. Take good care of yourself. And um, yes, Angry Alex, God bless Angry Alex. Every morning at the beach last fall, we would all be sitting around the peninsula in the kitchen, drinking coffee, reading. Alex would go out front onto the screen porch to smoke a cigarette, and invariably he would come barreling back in. These are, he always gets mad politically at somebody for being an idiot, which I love and respect him for. So cheers to angry Alex, cheers to all y'all. So like I said, take care of your brain, take care of your hearts, take care of your bodies, Make some beautiful, healthy food for yourself. If you can, if you have the means or the opportunity and it's safe for you to do so, do something kind for someone else. Because every time you do that, you stop thinking, when you think about somebody else, you're not thinking about yourself. And that's what we need to do is not be narcissistic and ego driven in this. We've got to look out to other people and do what you can for other people. So that's my mission for today. I don't know if my pasta will ever cook. You would think that I was I don't know, on the top of a mountain, but I love you guys all, and I thank you for coming. Take care of yourself. We'll be back here for uh, at noon tomorrow. I'll probably be making some breakfast, and then we're going to come back Sunday afternoon, and we're making Sunday evening pizza, which is an absolute classic in my family since as long as I can remember. Sunday night after church, straight to the pizza parlor. So, you guys, I love you all. Thanks for coming, and... Take care of yourselves today. I'm giving blood. I'll see you tomorrow.